Let's speak to Tom Gilbanks, hair loss content creator. Tom, good afternoon to you. Hey, Ian, how's it going? Good. Uh, you have a wonderful flock of hair. Uh, I, I do, thankfully. Yeah, and I, I you know, thankfully, I, I seem to have been born with the gene that also isn't going to uh, drop out anytime soon. But there are 15 million people that have a different experience. Absolutely, and I was just going to compliment you on that, actually, and you've got a, uh, a great head of hair. Thank if you. I can, if I can keep that level of uh, follicles through my life, I'll be, I'll be pretty grateful. Yeah, although it should be, <laughs> I'm only, I am only 24, so there is that, but. Oh, you're a year younger than me then, so uh, <laughs> <laughs> maybe next year. <laughs> Indeed. So 15 million people, and for 15 million people, uh, there's nobody, it's a bit like people who are overweight. Nobody wants to be overweight. Nobody would, you know, most people would rather keep their hair. It's true. It's very true. And it's a, it's a really difficult topic, honestly, because it's, it's, it's still quite stigmatised and the guys are very, they're afraid to talk about it. I mean, yeah. Believe it or not, I was actually losing my hair like pretty quickly in my early twenties. Wow. Uh, I managed, yeah, I managed to get on top of it and and stop it before it got bad. Um, How do you do that, by the way, Tom? Well, you know, there's there's been treatments that have been around for over thirty years at this point. Now, they're amazing. They yeah. are absolutely wonderful. Um, but the thing is, you need to start them before your hair loss gets bad. Yeah, yeah. And you know, it's it's. Trying to trying to get it back is really really difficult. Whereas if you treat it early, you know prevention is yeah. is much better than a cure because we don't actually have a cure at the moment. Uh, um, and when you see you know headlines like this, which are which are pretty uh, pretty frequent in terms of it being cured in in mice, the good news is you know there's good news and bad news. And yeah. the good news is if you're a mouse, because it's been cured many times. <laughs> um, yes, there's a laboratory somewhere that's got a, uh, you know, a mouse in it that looks like Tina Turner. I mean, that's, yeah. the, that's the reality. This poor, this poor thing's got locks coming all, all, all over it, all, all over the show. Um, I, I mean, obviously, over the years, like, hair transplants have got better, but, of course, they don't work for everybody. That's the problem, and they're still very expensive. They are, they are, and it's a, it's, it's a really uh, important topic to cover at the moment as well because hair transplants can be great, but there's a lot of misinformation out there when it comes to, you know, a lot of guys think they start to go bald and, okay, I don't have to worry about it, I can just get a hair transplant. Yeah. But, you know, the nature of going bald is from the top of your scalp to sort of back of the crown that's where we go bald and you tend to see that sort of horseshoe pattern along yeah. the back and sides because those areas never go bald now the reason for this is because you have really sensitive androgen receptors on your scalp now these are like little little keyholes and hormones male sex hormones can slot into these and basically unlock a task now the task is to go bald and that's just in our genetic blueprint for for some reason. Wow. <laughs> what kind of what kind of cruel god decided that of all the you know amazing elements, biological, physical, visual, whatever, that our <laughs> eyes, our brains, these you know, there's a billion things going on in the human circuit at any one time, doing incredible. Who decided when they were making us? Let's stick in the hair loss gene. Yep. Yep. Just well, quite a twisted person did that. <laughs> A, uh, yeah, a great, great head of hair, but only on the back and sides. Yeah, that's that's the blueprint for some guys. For some guys, it's 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 very rare that you see a guy like yourself keep, you know, the vast majority of your hair through all of your life. So, in terms of, I mean, some people rock the look, don't they, when they're bald? I mean, if I, oh yeah, you know, I, I've had images done of me uh, for TV things where they've kind of mocked you up as a baldy. And they did it with all the talk presenters, and uh, most of them looked actually pretty good. I, I just looked like uh, somebody who should be on a list. <laughs> it was it was disturbing, frankly. Um, in fact, so, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Some people just don't. Oddly, <laughs> my na my na my old neighbour, who I saw just this very morning walking to the train station. I was in my car. I've never known the guy with hair, and he looked brilliant, you know. And I saw him walking up the road. He had a nice parker on because it was you know, the weather was a little bit colder. Uh, he had his vape in his hand, and he just looked really cool. And I thought, God, he's got nothing. He never has to get out of the bed in the morning and think what am I going to do to my hair because he looks brilliant <laughs> the way he is but of course that's not the same for everybody 
it's not unfortunately no you know if you've got really good facial structure you've got a good jaw good cheekbones and you can just shave it and crack on then yeah. all the power to you personally did I you can't do that do you <laughs> do you still have to because you mentioned about losing some hair in your sort of early 20s um, do you still have to keep on top of that or is that now settled oh yeah Are you sorted no, it's a, it's, a, it's a lifelong lifelong commitment, honestly. Right. You know, these me these medications, essentially, you have to start them as soon as you see the signs, and then Got you it. carry on taking them for life. So if you stop taking them, the boredom would continue, Got it. Um, unfortunately. Um, and then, yeah, going back to the, the, the transplants as well. So, you know, a lot of guys think they can just take hair from the back and sides and plop it on top but you know it's you've got about a hundred thousand hairs on your scalp and about you know twelve thousand max on the back and sides in the safe zone that never go bald right. so if you think about it there's only a finite amount that you can take from the back and sides and yeah. put to the top and sometimes, because so, I, I know, I think it's Wayne Rooney that's been giving it a go for a long, long time. And uh, you, yeah, sometimes yeah. you have to go back, don't you, as well, and have it done again yeah. and then again. And I, I sense that he, he's been through that process more than once. Unfortunately, yeah, unfortunately. And, you know, the medications work great for most guys, but some yeah. some guys' bald and genetics is just so strong that they continue to bald. Yeah, or... you, can't, you can't fight it. What about the mice yeah. thing? So when you, given what, you know, you're a hair loss content creator so this is your field when you saw the mouse story did you think wow it's the it's what it's the mice what did it or had you heard a version of this story before many many times unfortunately yeah it seems like one comes out every few months when it's when it comes to mice it's just there it's a great starting point when it comes to science testing medicines mm -hmm. on on mice animals but actually replicating that to a human it's so difficult it's so so difficult because yeah. you know a mouse hair you know we go through hair cycles and a mouse hair tends to last about three to four weeks so you know it grows sheds another one starts within that period so you're However, not you're not sold on the idea that this is there's some miracle cure has happened here and and the mice no. have gone from looking like right said fred to alice cooper overnight Maybe mice, yeah, maybe mice, but getting that into into humans into is humans. incredibly it's incredibly different because a human hair cycle is about two to seven years, and actually taking what you've done on a mouse and getting it to happen in a human is is totally different. Unfortunately, I think I, I'm hopeful for the future, though. I'm really hopeful for the future because I think the way that technology is advancing, you've got AI, you've got quantum computing. It's just it's gonna rapidly speed up research and yeah. you know take away that human error in time, but you know, headlines on curing balding in mice. It's just, uh, yeah. yeah, it's, I've heard it before. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, and it, since we've been speaking, I have to tell you, Tom, that Finn, our producer, you know, AI is at a very advanced level these days where you can knock up a picture that would have taken you about three days on, you know, Photoshop yeah. a few years ago. He's managed to knock up a picture of me sitting here now live, but with no hair. Um, <laughs> and I, I won't be able to show the picture, but it did rather confirm what I'd said earlier that uh, I look like somebody who, yeah, probably needs to be taken away, shall we say. <laughs> uh, listen, Tom, lovely to have, have you on with us. Thank you. Tom Gilbanks, hair loss content creator on that issue.